I run a marathon tomorrow. Not like tomorrow is in the day after I'm filming this. I mean, tomorrow is in the day after this video is posted. Because today's Tuesday, so obviously I run a marathon on Sunday the 14th of April, which is the day after this video is going to be uploaded, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final episode of the Beginner Build Marathon series. What a wild journey this series has been and I can't actually believe that the big day is nearly here. This is like the 14th video in the series which is pretty much the same as uploading one video for every week of marathon training. That was kind of the point. Anyway in today's video I'm going to go through my full last week of training leading up to the marathon and show you the kind of taper session I've been doing in order to prepare for the big day and towards the end of the video I'm going to give you some last minute thoughts and feelings leading in to Manchester Marathon. So Monday is basically a ritual in my life at this point because it always starts with an easy run first thing in the morning before I start work. Now this week happened to be a bank holiday which if you're not from the UK essentially means we get Monday off and I took this opportunity to meet up with George who you might remember from some past videos and the run we had scheduled was a 6.2 mile easy run or a 10k for all of you kilometer people. Now George has been trying to set a new 10k PB for quite some time and his PB pace falls right inside my easy to comfortable pace. So what better day than to try and set him a new 10k PB? Just kidding, it actually went a little more like this. How you feeling? <laughs> so the run for me came in at 6.29 miles in a time of 49 minutes and 47 seconds which would have been a PB for George except he had to walk halfway through and only made it to 9.5k. Now all jokes aside George has actually been the person to supply me with all of my strength and conditioning plans for the entirety of this marathon training block and I can't lie I genuinely don't think I'd be in the position I'm in now without them and that is all down to George. So just want to give a quick shout out to him and say a massive thank you and if you need help with any strength and conditioning work go and hit him up over on Instagram. Right on to Wednesday. The plan for Wednesday was to go back to the track for one final interval session but after some last minute rearranging of plans I ended up doing the session on the country roads instead. This could actually be the last interval session I do before I run a marathon. D just a little bit crazy. <laughs> they said she won't work the way that I want it don't matter cause I want you the most and if I can't be close to you no matter what I try to do Another hundred times I make it right next to you My memories follow me until I get it right Oh, na na na, oh baby, oh yeah now this session was by far one of the most interesting sessions I've done throughout my entire marathon training block and I would highly recommend any of you giving it a try. So the session started with a 1.6 mile warm up and then the main body of the session was made up of pyramid intervals. So the main body was 0.1 miles at 5.20, 0.25 miles at 5.35, 0.5 miles at 5.55, 0.75 miles at 6.05 and then 1 mile at 6.55. 15. And then you do that all again, but in reverse order. And you should be left with a workout overview that sort of looks like a pyramid. Hence the name Pyramid Intervals. Oh yeah, oh, you've been looking so lost. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was just pulling out that alchemy and just like that be a finale. But I miss one thing and you know it's gotta be you. Oh man, I'm taking down Pali. And I'm a go keep looking for you till dawn. Cause I guess my plan or whatever is all about you, my baby. It's not enough if you can be next to me. We'll feel like we're just meant to be I need you for life If I don't make it tonight Then luckily there's always tomorrow in my phone The workout finished with a 1.2 mile cooldown Bringing the total distance to 8 miles In a total time of 1 hour, 2 minutes and 14 seconds Average pace was 7 minutes 46 per mile And whoever's responsible for closing that road I no longer like you because I had a very long walk home because of you. Friday, Mother Nature kind of blessed me. 
take a look at this. Well, these weather conditions make a nice change, don't they? It's like 14 degrees and it actually feels like it's 14 degrees. I've come out in a short sleeve t-shirt and before I even started running, that was a nice temperature. Weather like this for Manchester would be perfect. Speaking of which, we've only got four runs left. Don't get me wrong, it was still stupidly windy, foreshadowing, but it was actually really nice to be able to run in warm weather for once and not get absolutely drenched by the end of a marathon session. Friday was a tempo session consisting of a 1.2 mile warm up straight into five blocks of 0.75 miles at 6.25 per mile, followed by 0.25 miles at 8.25 per mile, and then a 0.6 mile cooldown. And in all fairness, the session actually started off pretty strong. <laughs> And the jump. Top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, pin a long day. Hit your line with your fog group with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the field, saying vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like it. Yeah, I fantasize it. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I fit it. I let them hear the fear of a passive aggressive. And we black men with a passion. Steady grip while I shoot to the stars with a full clip. Try and line with the and then the wind really got to me. I'm not proud of it, I've had to walk. Yeah, it, wasn't, it just wasn't worth risking pushing through that wind. I've got one rep left, but I'm more focused now about finishing the workout than hitting the target pace on this final rep. My heart rate flew up in that last one. So one rep to go and then a cool down. Oh. Block one, two, and three were all under the target time of 6.25 per mile, but rep four and five definitely took a hit, especially rep four, which came in at 6.33 per mile, which is nearly 10 seconds slower than my target. Do I think I could have pushed through the wind, not walked, and still hit my targets? Maybe. Do I think I'd be doing more harm than I would be doing good? Absolutely, 100%, Y-E-S spells yes. At this point in my training, I genuinely care more about just trying to maintain the level of fitness I'm at than trying to get that extra 1% when I could potentially injure myself. Because realistically, how much extra fitness would I actually have gained from finishing that session perfectly? Probably not a lot. Final distance came out at 6.81 miles in a time of 49 minutes and 5 seconds with an average pace of 7 minutes 12 per mile. And let me tell you, I will not miss tempo sessions one bit, let alone tempo sessions in the wind. The final week of full marathon training ended with an 8.8 .8 mile long run on Sunday, which I actually think is the shortest long run I've done in the entire 16 week block. It also happens to be short shorter than my easy run during peak week, which is just a little bit crazy for my little brain to process. Anyway, there was a short block of marathon pace within the run for about two miles, but the main aim of this run was just to remind my legs what marathon pace feels like, and just to keep my body ticking over heading into race week. <laughs> I tried to use this long run to my full advantage by simulating what race morning is going to be like for the marathon. Which did mean waking up at 6.30 in the morning, getting food in my body straight away and being warmed up and ready for a start time of 9.40. If you didn't watch my previous video, 9.40 is the exact time I'm going to be starting the Manchester Marathon. And if I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, it actually went pretty well.
run, the final long run of this 16 week block came in at 8.8 .8 miles in a time of 1 hour 9 minutes and 38 seconds average pace 7 minutes 54 per mile. So in terms of final thoughts going into race week and going into the Manchester Marathon I'm kind of in two minds because on the one hand I know I've done 15 weeks of dedicated training and I've done every single session every single week without fail which is like four sessions per week for 15 weeks. That's like 60 sessions and to have been disciplined enough to do every single one of them puts me in a really good position mentally and physically going into the marathon. But then on the other hand I've never ran a marathon before and I have no idea how prepared I should feel. I know it's only my first marathon and I know I shouldn't get bogged down by running a specific time and I just need to enjoy the event. But I need something to work towards and the target time I've set myself of sub 312 I think is the perfect goal. But again, I don't know if I'm actually prepared enough to run that. Basically, what I'm trying to say is these last 15 weeks have been so eye-opening and I'm so proud of myself for how dedicated I've been and I'm just going to try my absolute hardest to enjoy the day and not let my 312 goal bog me down too much because like someone commented on my last video you only get to run your first marathon once and you only get to cross your first marathon finish line once. So as much as I really want to hit my A goal of 312 I'm going to try and just enjoy the event as much as I can and if I hit 312 that's a massive bonus. Now I am starving so please cut to outro Dan who will be sat upstairs in his bedroom to finish the video. Or just cut the video here. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll find out when we do the edit. <laughs> <laughs>